वेलकम सो टुडे वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स बर्निंग टॉपिक्स इन एनवायरमेंट एंड दैट इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल नाउ हाउ टू वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एक्चुअली इज अ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल सो व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द हीट अ ग्रीन हाउस गैस इज एबल टू ट्रैप इन रिलेशन टू द अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम पीरियड और अ टाइम हॉराइजन इज वॉट इज नोन एज द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल सो सिंपली पुट वेन एवर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग पोटेंशियल वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्रेजेंट माई यूनिट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेट से बिलियन टन्स ऑफ सी ओ टू इक्विवेलेंट विच इज डिनोटेड एज दिस ओके नाउ वेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू relate something to this it would be the 100 years global warming potential that i am trying to take so let's say for methane it turns out to be 28 as per the recent reports now when i say it turns out to be 28 that means methane has 28 times more global warming potential as compared to the carbon dioxide so it explains which gas is how much uh, able to or which gas is able to trap the greenhouse effect more now when we are trying to understand the global warming potential there are certain things we keep in mind it's either taken for a period of 20 years 100 years or 500 years but what we consider most standard form is the 100 years the next important thing is this global warming potential is applied to the unit of mass is not the volume and we are trying to compare the emissions and reduce the emissions of different gas gases based on the potentials that we have so in the next table we would have the list of the potentials across the various gases the next important is the factors that help you understand or determine the global warming potential so the first is the lifetime of the gas so how much duration the gas would remain in the atmosphere is the atmospheric lifetime the next is the absorption of the infrared radiations of the gases and where in the electromagnetic spectrum uh, the gas absorbs the radiation so that's again very very important now simply put i can say a higher value of global warming potential indicates that there is larger amount of infrared absorption that is clear and again it has a longer atmospheric life so uh, or lifetime we could say so that is what is very very clear from a higher value of the global warming potential so whenever we are talking about global warming potential it's basically a cumulative radiative force that is taken into account and that is through both the direct and the indirect effects that we are talking about over a specific time period so it could be 20 years 100 years or 500 years standard we take it as the 100 years period and this emission we why we have taken carbon dioxide as the base so carbon dioxide is considered as a reference gas because it is consistent with the guidelines of the intergovernmental panel on climate change that is ipcc and therefore co2 is considered as a reference gas now whenever we are saying this is a reference gas that automatically means the value for this would be 1 methane would be 28 as we already discussed nitrous oxide is next in line <clears throat> you have chlorofluorocarbons it's next in line and sulfur hexafluoride has the highest amount of global warming potential now sometimes you have a direct order that is asked which has the lowest which has the highest so you need to know the series that is there and this whole value is based on the assessment report 5 so that's the latest assessment report that we are talking about now if we look on to the correct order you have carbon dioxide at the lowest followed by methane followed by nitrous oxides followed by hydrofluorocarbons chlorofluorocarbons followed by pftba now this is very very important we'll discuss that in a while then you have hydrofluorocarbons 23 and finally the sulfur hexoxide uh, hexafluoride sorry now what is this pftba pftba is perfluoro 
ट्राइब्यूटाइल अमीन सो पर फ्लोरो ट्राइब्यूटाइल एंड अमीन दिस इज वाइडली यूज इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल इंडस्ट्री एंड इट्स रेडिएटिव एफिशियंसी इज डिटेक्टेड टू बी हाइएस्ट इन द डेट सो फार वॉट इज द रेडिएटिव एफिशियंसी दैट वी टॉक अबाउट सो रेडिएटिव एफिशियंसी इज बेसिकली अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रिलेटिव इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट द लॉन्ग वेव रेडिएशन फ्रॉम गोइंग बैक इन टू द एटमोसफियर एंड दैट इज वॉट इज नोन एज द रेडिएटिव एफिशियंसी एंड दैट इज हाइएस्ट फॉर पी एफ टी बी ए सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दैट इज यूज इन highly used in the electrical industry now we consider water vapor as an exception here why and the reasons behind it are very very important now water vapor widely it is known as a greenhouse gas okay but what we have not included why we have not included it in the list that we have discussed so far is attributed to numerous reasons first of all so it is having a kind of profound we could say infrared absorption spectrum which is much higher than the carbon dioxide so that is one of the reasons and also it is capable of absorbing the non zero amount of radiations that is present even in the low spectral regions okay so that is one of the reasons that it is an exception the next is its concentration varies on the availability of water so uh, if we talk about a global average temperature of let's say 16 degree celsius the average humidity would vary from a area near to the coastal area to an area far off from the coastal area so that is one of the second reasons why water vapor is an exception the third is water vapor does not decay in the environment and so the average over the time horizon is consistent only with the time decay uh, or the time dependence decay we could say so that is another reason why water vapor is an exception in case of global warming potential and when we are talking about the distribution on the earth it varies in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere based on the differing amount of land masses that is present in the north hemisphere and the south hemisphere so that's the fourth important reason that we talk about so the here are uh, the four different reasons that we understand why water vapor is an exception when we are talking about the global warming potential however as we mentioned this is a very very burning topic most of the important question falls from the series in the global warming potential and students with environment have a lot of questions these days pertaining to this topic we would be taking many more contemporary topics pertaining to your competitive examinations so stay subscribed have a wonderful day ahead